epic intro music. Hello, Pinnacles, hello, and welcome back to part 89 of my Rope Hand campaign, The Divide and Conquer, version 5. Now, this is the battle we're going to be starting with. He hasn't quite sieged down yet, but the Easterling army here is going to siege down this fort here. I mean, what else is he going to do? So we're going to slam into him, and we've also got Diorhelm. What we have here is we have Garrel's army. You can see it. It's a good classic cavalry stack. Slightly depleted, but not really. Two generals. And then they have a lot of elite troops in this army, but sandwiched between two armies, it should be fine. Five units of cavalry lurk, but again, the captain is in the heavy cav, so if we focus on the cavalry first, they will have no captain, and then we'll be able to focus on the rest of their elite troops too, so it's going to be tough, but yeah, we're going to get on with it. Let's go. Yeah, hit that. That's the general, I think, so I think we're, we're playing it, playing a good game, playing a good game. Get the... yeah. Yeah, so... Throw the javelins at the general, and then if we can get lancers, we do have lancers here. Um, if we could charge with lancers too, before their line really does anything. So they look like they're sending archers in, I don't know, their archers are going really far in. I feel like maybe we ought to just change to aggressive, just so they could get their infantry line in, I don't know. But yeah, we are kind of destroying those guys, that's good. If they try to run the general out, we will chase. It is going really well, because... At the moment, anyway. Because a lot of their troops are getting distracted. Okay, these guys are actually running out of ammo, so get them over there. Okay, now we're going to chase the general. He's down to 18 men. So the two lancers over here... Your job is to kill that general, and then we will engage with everybody. You throw the javelins at him, then. Right, this is going really well, because they're distracted by the other army, and they haven't actually engaged any of us yet. So, Eirig lance a charge on their captain. Come on. And they're, they're leaving our stuff alone up there, too. If they walk past us, which they look like they might, we can poach this captain. Right, and what have we got over here? We might want to charge one of it. So, yeah, that's also... There's a lot of scary stuff. Maybe we... That's heavy cav. Maybe we give the heavy cav a go. Uh, because there's two generals and three units of lancers in there. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, just careful, careful. Hit them then. Right, and we're going to have to really help out now as well. Um, right, also there... Okay, so these guys are in combat. We can smack them. So you get into them, and then, yes, yeah, so there's only two more units over there too. So you guys just get where I can see you. And then, yeah, dragons. Okay, so now you definitely want to go for the heavy cav. Captain, yeah. Okay, so the captain is down. It should be, it should be routine from this point. Okay, and some of them are slightly dodgy. Um, so if we hit them, and then you hit them... Oh, then maybe we'll just wait. Yeah. So if you come back and hit, give those guys a charge... Okay, you charge them as well. Okay, you run, 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 run. Why are you not running? <sighs> Okay, so that is the heavy... Hopefully that's just the heavy cab. It is. So, uh, yeah, we should destroy there because there's two generals. 
Okay. That is elite, but we have just clattered it. I would probably like to get out, though. <sighs> okay, it's their route in. That's good. Okay, so get these guys out. Um, and then get these guys into them. Yep. And then, ooh, have we been charged or are they trying to escape? No, they're wavering. But we do want to get out before these guys get in. They are routing. They are routing. So now you get over there. Okay, so we're going to have to move the archers to... Oof, they're not even... Okay, we're going to move the archers over here. Okay, I need to just pause to get everybody out, because these guys, they're not really doing anything either. Well, Baron Raiders, though, you could hit them easy. Okay. Oh, they killed my catapult. Oh, well. <laughs> they're about to get destroyed. Right, so over here, over here, over here. Yep, so now, yeah, we need these guys back quickly. Uh, but it is only 25 of them, even though they're elite, so they should be going down now. And then we'll help mop up. Right, uh, and then again. For the moment, the they're not spears, so I'm just waiting for one second. Okay, so now we're going to get out. Yep, now, now they're going to get out. Alright. I do just have to make sure they do it because it is the generals. And the generals have a tendency of not doing what they're told. Alright. Okay, so they're running. So yeah, now we need to get into the back of them. Now they need to come this way. And... These guys, yeah, they can come around because we're not going to get any rear charges over there. <laughs> so now we should be able to slowly route them one by one while they're distracted on the infantry lines. Uh, and pretty much these are archers, so um, let's go this way. Continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Uh, flag. They're fighting guards of the cave, so I think that they could probably assist there. Okay, now we're going to start mopping up the archers as well. Um, yeah, this is all archer. Oh, that's just the captain. I was worried then. That is just the captain of our other army, so it's not a problem. And we are just clattering the rest of their forces now. So, they are done for. That's what I mean. If you, if your allies actually worked with me the entire campaign, if my allies worked with us uh, this whole time, um, they wouldn't have stood. No one would have stood a chance. Would have wiped the map easy if it was like two players. <laughs> just look, just holding them in place like this. Okay, they need a cycle charge though. Just holding them in place like this, we have just destroyed an entire army. Um, and this, again, flag rim. So we're going to just plow every cavalry unit into them, and they should go to. Yeah. Yeah, so this is pretty much it. Um, well, it is battle over, but I mean, I will try to mop up to 95%. Clear victory, but yeah, still pretty good. Still pretty good. We only lost 200. The infantry army lost quite a few, but it doesn't really matter. 102 kills from the year in skirmishers. So that was the Great Battle of the Mountains of Dorwinion. It was fantastic. We can go straight ahead and fight him too, I reckon. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. So we're not going to end a turn because we freed up this army. So yeah, Fram is going to get some experience here. 
we are not going to let the AI control Theodred, I'm afraid. We are going to take him on 1v1. So we'll have a full cavalry stack to fight these guys. And the captain is in Daratai Warriors. So honestly, should be a pretty easy clear up. They do have... They do have five units of spears, but should be fine. So we're going to get into battle number two. Right, just need to check on... Yeah, let's see. This is their captain. Double check. Yeah, this is their captain. Theodred is about to sl absolutely slam their captain. You can see he didn't quite get hit in the charge there because he was too far to the side. But we would have absolutely smacked them. Alright, now we can get Theodred back out. Easy stuff, easy stuff. <laughs> right, so now we've got to see which units are isolated. So the Dragon Guard on this side is probably a good target. Um, more so just... Might just send the archers into these guys too. Um, and then, yeah. Tempted with that. Okay, you guys come down that way. Okay. Um, yeah, those three. And then... You guys go that way. Now what's that? Daratai Warriors again. So honestly, Theodra could hit that. Oh, oh no. I didn't know it was a javelin. Yeah, Theodra could clatter that unit on his own easy. Okay. Oh, you hit them now. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you guys are all doing. <laughs> okay, you guys back out and then you're all going to crush them. Um, okay. Oh, oh, Fedrid, Fedrid. Okay. Okay, he is doing alright. Yeah, he is smacking that. They are just warriors as well coming in, so he could t honestly take all of that on his own. I was a little bit concerned then. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I definitely did not want that happening, so I don't know how that happened. They must have just got caught me. Okay. Okay. Anyway, you can help him out. Help your king out. <laughs> right, um, and then... Yeah, these guys need to get out and come in for a better... Uh, yeah, those guys need to go. Okay, and then we will just kill the captain before we do anything else, really. So, the captain, I think, is in that one. Yeah. So, get over there. Right, oh, God. Look, we're getting caught on all sides. Oh, my God. Okay, and we're right up against the wall here, so... Okay. Anyway, we need to hit them, kill the captain, and then sort of sort us out. Okay. Okay, you guys get this way then. Um, and then we're just going to have to move these guys, because we are getting caught. Right. Make sure you guys are coming this way. And that's our reserve army. <laughs> uh, and then... Yeah. So what's that? Okay, that's... Spear. So, yes, we don't want to run into any of that. We'll come back over here and then we'll go uh, right over there and go and kind of group everyone. Yeah, we'll just group everyone like that. Yeah, so Theodred has killed the captain. So it should get smoother now. And why are these guys not running? I don't know. Um, Right, so now we should... Actually, yeah, these guys should be able to power through them. And we're going to get these guys all to hit them from this side too, because this is all archer trash. <laughs> uh, 
Um, okay, yeah, you into them. Into them, because they are anti-cav, but they're not anti-cav in melee. They're anti-cav because of their javelins. So, yeah, they're routing already, look. Um, kill them. So, that's all routing. That is all routing. So, we are absolutely smacking them over there. Um, so, Theodrid is still leading the charge, even though he's not the commanding general, technically. All right, um... Okay, and then we have, well they're not spears, but still would like to kind of regroup, so you get over there. Interesting, I don't know what quite happened there. Okay, so you guys need to help out over here. Right, what is that? Gamp, Dragon Guard. Okay, so we're going to have to watch that. Okay. Right, we're going to... Yeah, still, we're still a bit too split up. We've got about 100 different things going on. So I'm going to group these guys with them. I don't know how they've got one unit. Oh, they must have just not gone out. But yeah, we're going to have to go that way. Um, and then Fram is going to have to go that way to just kill them. Okay. Right. Can they push into the... No. Okay. Right. Um, oh God. Okay. So these aren't going to do too much damage, but they have completely sandwiched us, so it's not good. Okay. And then these guys do need to turn around, so I might just send them over there too, just to regroup. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we are just going to regroup. Also, over here, they're just about to hit us over here too. Oh, the javelin. Oh, these are all javelin. So, yeah. So if we run this way, we should be able to throw javelins. If should just get out. Okay. They're not going to quite pass them, but... Right. So, again, we've been caught quite badly in a lot of different places on this one. Okay. Because we're not going to quite get out of that one either. Right. But you're going to have to go through now. Okay, go. Okay, come on. Better, 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 better. Okay, look, we're really struggling against the line here. You guys move. Okay. okay. Get over there, get over there, get over there. And we're going to have to pause and check on everyone else. This is just... Um, it's not a tough battle, it's just... Been, I've just made it a bit chaotic by splitting the army into so many sections. And then honestly, it is all spears, so I may just cut from this point. Okay, yep, see, clear victory again. We only lost 180, so great win. And 135 kills for the Rohirrim archers. And did they take the top spot? No, King Theodred with the most kills. 175. Let's uh, end the turn. Oh, the new Northern Dunedain are moving back in. They might actually take Finnish Angmar off here. Oh my god, are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? Oh, they won a battle though. I really thought they were going to wipe them off the off the game then. <laughs> okay, so it has worked in our favour. Because now Horsa, who has a really elite force, is going to come back and slam him in the next episode. So we're going to go over these notifications, and we're going to do a big battering of the Ardenheim in the next one. They want us to take Coronage, and we will. But it is 15 turns, yeah, easy. And Onanzanar is rioting, which is fine. <laughs> so recruitment report, still a fair amount, even though we're not doing too much. Okay, construction report. So this is 
I've just been doing everything. So we have the cattle farming at Bregos, the fairground at Dol Vorn, Mason's Guildhouse at Budra Doom, crop rotation at Leofen's Fortress, the practice range at Imblad Karnan, chicken farming at Ostenari, and Mount Gundabag and Frickers Halls, land clearance at Mordenhell, Marshall Stables at Iamis Landing, the tombs at Yorkanston's Halls and Grasgard, and the standing stones at Onanzanar. Okay, but yeah, I'm going to end this one here, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram.